Hello again. Thank you for watching and subscribing to this YouTube channel. My name is Jim. I run this account called CGC Sports Illustrated. Uh, you can find me under the same username on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, eBay, and there's an audio podcast, which is available wherever you get audio podcasts. And what I do is collect and talk about graded magazines, especially copies of Sports Illustrated. So in this episode, this is episode number two in a new series that I've started doing called One and Done, where I take a deep dive into one specific issue of Sports Illustrated. So I'll go over some stories about the specific issue, some stories of the athlete. Uh, I'll talk about pop reports for that issue, and then um, at least for ones that have been graded, obviously. And then we'll look at some uh, recent sales, too. So today's one and done issue is probably the biggest grail for all modern Sports Illustrated collectors. I'm talking about the very first LeBron James Sports Illustrated cover. So this one came out, resize here a little bit so you can see that better. Um, it came out on February, February 18th, 2002. This is volume number 96, issue number seven. And let's just start off by talking about how freaking great this cover looks. You know, some athletes don't have the best looking cover um, and I've talked about that before. Sometimes they're on the cover and they're sharing them with other people and other athletes. And sometimes it's just kind of a goofy shot of them. None of those things are the case with this one. This is a beautiful shot of a very young 17 year old LeBron James. He's wearing his high school uniform. He's wearing, you know, holding the basketball there. And that iconic headline, the chosen one. And what, what I think is interesting about that headline is that I'm sure they borrowed that from the Harry Potter series because when this issue came out, the first Harry Potter movie had only came out three months before that. The books had been a while, out for a while. And so, you know, with Harry Potter being this huge, culturally significant series, and if you don't know the Harry Potter series, he was called The Chosen One in the books in the movie. Um, and they obviously came out before this magazine came out. But it's no surprise that SI would borrow, you know, that phrase and use it here. Uh, I can tell you that that photo of LeBron James was taken 15 days before this cover uh, came out, and it was taken in the um, his high school gym. Because, you know, you got to remember, LeBron went straight from high school uh, to the NBA. So some other things that were going on in this Sports Illustrated, again, that came out on February 18, 2002, uh, the Salt Lake City uh, Olympics. So this was the 2002 Winter Olympics that were taking place in South in Salt Lake City that was happening at the exact same time that this issue came out. So there was a ton of Olympic coverage in this issue. Um, I thought this was a really interesting article in this issue. So this is... Um, and certainly something that's still relevant and being talked about 20 years later. This is an article uh, you know, talking about how awful all of the pro sports all-star games are and some suggestions and how to potentially um, you know, make them better. Now, the suggestions weren't great. I mean, they ran the gamut from um, you know, having a street ball tournament during the NBA all-star weekend where the winners of the street ball tournament, you know, not NBA players, uh, but the winners of that street ball tournament would play the NBA All-Stars uh, on Sunday. Uh, that's obviously never going to happen. There was a suggestion that the NFL Pro Bowlers play the winner of the CFL, Canadian Football League, um, championship. Again, something that would never happen. But I, I thought that it was really interesting. This article wraps up by saying, just give us something that makes these All-Star games worth watching. <laughs> and here we are uh, 20 years later saying pretty much the same thing another good article from this issue and i thought this was really interesting as well it's an article asking how far will jordan take the wizards in the 2002 nba season and the answer was not very far because they finished 37 and 45 that year and missed the playoffs most of that was due to some big chunks of the season where jordan was injured but it it um it certainly gives you that feeling, you know, LeBron's on the cover. He's 17 year old and he's in high school. We got this article about Jordan playing for the wizards and missing the playoffs. It certainly gives you that feeling of, you know, the passing of the torch of the NBA era from Jordan um, to LeBron. The actual article about LeBron was fairly small. I was kind of surprised. Most of it talking about how he's so young and 17 years old and, you know, would be skipping, um, you know, high school to go straight to the NBA, which of course that was, you know, shocking and, 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 you know, not many players did that at the time. 
Um, but I love this quote from a longtime player coach and GM Danny Ainge, who said, uh, quote, there are only four or five players in the NBA that I wouldn't trade to get LeBron right now. Which at the time, that quote probably sounded crazy. You know, I mean, LeBron's only 17 years old and you're talking about trading almost anybody in the whole league to get him. Uh, but of course, looking back now, um, it's funny that that quote actually doesn't go far enough because you would have traded any player in the league at the time to get LeBron James if you knew what um, he was going to turn out to be. Um, because, you, I, I mean, obviously everybody would want a shot at LeBron. A couple more interesting things, you know, stories about LeBron that I didn't, I, I've forgotten about or either didn't know um, completely. He got in a little bit of trouble in high school because he accepted a Hummer H2 from a family member, which drew a ton of attention from the Ohio, uh, Ohio High School Athletic Association. Um, technically, he didn't violate any rules because it came from a family member and not an agent or a coach or recruiter or anything like that. But then not too long afterwards, uh, he did get into some actual trouble and uh, he accepted a couple of throwback jerseys without paying for them. And the Ohio High School Athletics Association actually suspended him for the entire season. Uh, he appealed the ruling and they knocked it down to a two game su suspension. But I, I thought this was, you know, I, I, that's why I love these magazines so much. We get to look at that snapshot in time and that moment in history, because all of this now sounds totally silly and ridiculous because of NIL and things with like this happen with kids all the time today. Um, another thing too, is, uh, you know, LeBron played football in high school and was outstanding receiver uh, in football and was actually recruited by the Notre Dame uh, fighting Irish to play football for Notre Dame, not basketball. I'm sure they would have loved to have had him on the basketball team too, but he was recruited uh, to play uh, football for Notre Dame too. And obviously we know he didn't do that and went straight to the NBA. So those are some fun stories about this issue and some things that were happening in this issue and in the world of sports at the time and some good stories about LeBron. Let's dig into the specifics of the um, census and how many of these have been graded. So I've got the CGC census pulled up and you can see this is the February 18th, 2002 issue. First LeBron James cover. There are a ton of these that have been graded. And if you're coming from sports cards um, and you don't know this already, the pop reports on newsstand Sports Illustrated are minuscule uh, compared to um, compared to the current slate of uh, of sports cards. I mean, you know, I know the the Luka Doncic rookie that everybody's after, you know, has been graded in PSA ten over two thousand times. Um, and here you've got this issue of Sports Illustrated. You can see the total two hundred and eight times in any grade. Uh, so the pop reports for newsstand Sports Illustrated are minuscule, minuscule compared to uh, sports cards for sure. However, within the world of graded newsstand Sports Illustrated issues, this is a huge pop count. Um, in fact, I think this may be the second most graded Sports Illustrated after the very first Sports Illustrated from August 1954. So 200 in total, uh, 208 total newsstand copies graded. You can see there's 49.8s. Um, there are 49.6s, 26.9.4s, and, and, and a bunch of others out there graded. I can tell you I've owned a ton of these uh, over the years. I, I currently have... I currently have three or four nine point of those 49.8s. I've got a couple more of these issues at CGC um, being graded right now. Uh, but obviously, this is a massively collectible issue. Um, it draws interest from people outside of the hobby. I mean, if you're not into graded magazines, but you're a huge LeBron fan, this one is certainly going to have interest for you. And I think that you know speaks as to why there's 208 copies graded. Um, now, while 49.8 is a big number for this hobby, you're going to see that it really has not affected the price or killed the price very much. So let's take a look at some recent sales. Heritage Auction is always a great resource on that because unlike eBay, they archive the sales price for all of their issues going back um, forever. So we can see this one. This was August 28th, 2002. This 9.8 LeBron sold for $9,000. A um, little bit of dip a few months later. This is August 18th or uh, November 18th, uh, 2002. And the LeBron sold for $7,200. I can tell you that there is, Heritage does have a 9.8 issue of this LeBron cover that is up for auction right now in their current May auction. 
I think those just went live a couple of days ago, and I think there's probably two or three weeks left on that auction. Last I checked, I think the the high bid was seventeen fifty or something like that. It's going to go for a lot more than that. But if you're interested in picking one of these up, no reserve auction on Heritage right now, um, ha.com, and just search LeBron James, you know, CGC Sports Illustrated, and it'll show up there. Uh, that's it for uh, this issue or this episode, episode number two of One and Done. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you would uh, do me a favor. And uh, by the way, I am um, very open and available if you've got questions on this hobby. So if you've got questions about this hobby, want to get started, don't know where to start, uh, drop a comment uh, here on YouTube or shoot me a DM on social media and uh, we'll talk. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.